Experiment 15 The Specific Clayton Heat of Fusion of Ice by Method of Mixture Objective To determine the specific latent heat of fusion of ice by the method of mixture by using a calorimeter. Apparatus required A calorimeter, laboratory thermometer, ice blocks, a beam balance and measuring weights. Theory When a hot body is placed in contact with a cold body, heat exchange takes place from the hot body to cold until the equilibrium stage, same temperature is attained. According to the principle of heat exchange, heat lost by a hot object is equal to the heat gained by the cold object, provided no heat loss takes place to the surrounding. When ice cubes are mixed with water kept in a calorimeter container, heat will be lost by the water and the calorimeter and will be absorbed, gained by the ice. Ice will gain heat first to melt at 0 degree Celsius, melting temperature of ice, and then to increase the temperature of melted ice, water, from 0 degree Celsius to the temperature of the mixture. Let D1 represents the initial temperature of water and the calorimeter and D2 represents the final temperature of the mixture after the ice cubes are melted and attain a steady temperature. MC, MW and MI represent the masses of calorimeter, water in the calorimeter and ice respectively. Heat lost by calorimeter is equal to MC, CC into T1 minus T2. Heat lost by water in the calorimeter is equal to MW, CW into T1 minus T2 where CC and CW represent the specific heat capacities of calorimeter and water. Heat gained by ice to melt at 0 degree Celsius is equal to MILF, where LF represents the latent heat of fusion of ice F. Heat gained by melted ice to reach to the temperature of the mixture is equal to MICW into T2 minus 0. Applying the principle of heat exchange, heat lost by the calorimeter and the water is equal to heat gained by ice. That is MCCC into T1 minus T2 plus MWCW into T1 minus T2 which is equal to MILF plus MICW into T2 minus 0. Or LF is equal to 1 upon MI into MCCC into T1 minus T2 plus MWCW into T1 minus T2 minus MICW T2. By substituting the values representing various quantities, specific latent heat of fusion of ice, LF can be calculated. Procedure Use a beam balance to measure the mass of empty calorimeter container. Record it as M1. Fill the calorimeter with water approximately half of its depth and weigh it. Record the mass of the calorimeter with water as M2. Use a thermometer to record the initial temperature of water in the calorimeter. Record this temperature as T1. Add ice cubes into the water of the calorimeter. Stir the contents of the calorimeter till the whole ice melts and the mixture attains a steady temperature. Record the steady temperature of the mixture as T2. Weigh the calorimeter again along with its contents, mixed water and stirrer. Record this mass as M3. Record the various masses and temperatures and calculate the specific latent heat of fusion of ice by using the formula given in the theory part of the experiment. Record your observations and do calculations as follows.
conclusion. The specific latent heat of fusion of ice as determined by using the above data is found to be dash calories per gram. Precautions Keep stirring the content of the calorimeter till all ice melts and wait few minutes till the thermometer reading stops dropping further. Do not keep the lid of the calorimeter open for a long time to avoid heat loss to the surrounding.